Welcome to Diamond Hunter. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of meteorites. I'll be showing you how to test if that mysterious rock you found is a real meteorite, all from the comfort of your own home. There are several tests we can try, so stick, uh, stick around until the end for the most effective methods. And before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to Diamond Hunter and give this video a thumbs up. Let's jump right in. The first and probably most common test is the magnet test. Most meteorites contain iron, which means they're magnetic. All you need is a strong magnet, like a neodymium magnet. Bring the magnet close to the rock. If it's attracted, it could be a meteorite. Keep in mind, not all meteorites are strongly magnetic, so even if your rock doesn't stick to the magnet, it doesn't rule out the possibility. But if it does show some attraction, that's a good sign. Next, we have the weight test. Meteorites are usually denser than regular rocks, meaning they often feel heavier for their size. Pick up your rock and see if it feels unusually heavy compared to other rocks of the same size. If it does, this might just be a piece of space rock. Now let's move on to the streak test. This is an easy way to test the metal content in your rock. Take an unglazed ceramic tile and gently rub the rock against it. A meteorite typically won't leave much of a streak, or it might leave a faint gray mark due to the iron. If the rock leaves a colored streak, like red, brown, or white, it's probably not a meteorite. This simple test can help rule out common earth rocks. Another important feature to look for is the fusion crust. Meteorites that enter Earth's atmosphere often have a thin, dark outer layer called a fusion crust. This forms from the intense heat as the meteor falls through the atmosphere, giving the surface a burnt, smooth appearance. Check your rock to see if it has this fusion crust. If it does, it could be another good indicator. One more unique thing to look for is regmaglyphs, or thumbprints. These are shallow dimples or impressions on the surface of the meteorite, formed by melting and air pressure during its descent. If your rock has these small, thumbprint-like features, it's another sign that you could be holding a meteorite. So, if your rock passed these tests, congratulations, you might just have a meteorite in your hands. However, to be 100% sure, it's always a good idea to have it checked by a professional. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe to Diamond Hunter and give this video a like. And feel free to drop a comment if you have any questions or if you found a rock you think might be a meteorite. Uh, thanks for watching Diamond Hunter, and don't forget to share this video with anyone else who's curious about meteorites. See you next time.